Hey, how's it going guys? Shred Champ here. Got a sniper video that I've been doing. I recently made the switch over to PS5 with a couple buddies. So I'm still playing on PS4, but I'm also playing Saturday nights on PS5. So uh, ignore the half-ass record up top there. We're just tuning everything up. And trying to find a little bit of chemistry between us all while we tinker with our builds and re-level up. Hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas and enjoy this video. Thanks. Okay, so I'll go over this one real quick. Uh, it's a 510, 160 sniper, shoots left, close quarters because we're going to be stacking our shot and we want things to be as OP as possible. Heat seeker because when we're a little bit further out, we want the extra bonus in the shot. So we're going to have that little gap in between the middle of the ice there where we're not going to have a boost. But anything further out, we're going to have a piss missile of a shot. Anything close to the net, it's going to be an absolute cannon. Elite edges to keep our speed because obviously have 93 speed, 91 acceleration, 92 agility. We're going to be going fast and we want to keep that speed going hard. So when we turn, we get to keep our speed. As you can see, it's advanced maneuverability with the ability to turn tight corners while retaining high speed. So the goal of this is to piss people off. You're going to play big teams. You're going to play the teams that are... Maybe not that good. This is the one that you bring out when you're facing guys you're fairly confident you can walk around with. And the best way this build works is when you're playing with the team in conjunction. So what you're going to want to have is one bigger guy, one medium or small to pair with you, and then this build to be the speed. So what that'll do is allow you just to have one guy to be steady and make sure that you don't die and you can hit them back and it's not just you guys can't touch them at all. And this will let you get in there and just burn them on the outsides, cut in close, get all the quick little steps on people. Um, right off the bat, I have 89 passing. So this makes it almost as good as a playmaker by default on the passing. Now, obviously, the defensive aspect is nowhere near as good. I still like to have some hitting. You could take this all the way down and put it into your stick checking and it would be fairly good but i like to have a little bit more consistency and even if i bump people i like to just make sure that it's dislodged and it's really hard at 160 pounds to knock people over but you can skate directly into them and at least loosen up the puck and hit them with the stick check uh, strength so you see that we got plus five strength now normally i run like 78 but you can't get it any higher because you're tiny right you're 160 pounds you got nothing so this is maxed out your hand eye is 80 that's a standard for sniper you get bad passes you're gonna fumble them uh, you get passes that are juiced too hard you're gonna fumble them but what 75 strength lets you do is put on power wrister and so with power wrister that lets us get the 95 wrist shot power uh, when I play on the wing, I like to run the toe drags. So you get control deking, you get plus four deking. Now, as you don't need face offs, so you can take all these points away and put them all in there. That lets you have 88 deking as a sniper, which as a dangler, your base deking is 90 by default. So that's only two off. So how this build looks when I play on the wing is I have... 95 wrist shot power, 85 passing, 88 deking, and 93 speed, 91 excel, and 92 agility. Overall, it's super, super fast. It has problems being on your feet, but that's expected playing at 510, 160. The whole thing with this is to pull away from people and hit the shots and just to be able to get to the open spots. You're going to get bullied with this build. But on the times that you don't get bullied, you can capitalize on the chances and make everything score real easy. Here's just a quick overview of some of the stats on this build that I've been using. I feel like it's been uh, pretty successful. So 36 games played, 196 points. That's a 5.4 points per game. And I have a 70.4 face-off win percentage with 352 face-offs, one and 148 lost. Now let's get into the clips. So this build wheels. Easy pull away, 95 power, flick it to the blocker side, left-handed shot with close quarters, easy pick. Go ahead, tie me up again, fucker. Next, it shows the speed being able to pull away from everyone right off the line and get an easy tap. 
and I wonder if they know. Just don't play any different. We'll just bury them. Next, you're about to see the goalie just off the post a little bit. So with our 95 power, easy snap with close quarters to the far side. Here, you're going to see with a little bit of patience why you don't leave this build open in the slot. <laughs> Low blocker, easy snipe. Now I went in straight back. Maybe One thing I want to add here is that if you're not using Heat Seeker and you're finding that everything's close, put on one timer, it'll greatly benefit you, or use Ankle Breaker to coincide with your speed. Find the net again. This next one's going to see why we use Elite Edges. So we're going to get the puck back here. We're going to do a quick turn inside. Defenders burned. Easy goal. Deep. Oh, find the net. Come on, there it is. Just towards the end of having Travis Green. From here, we just pull away super quick. This is where the 93 speed, 91 acceleration, 92 agility is. Easy rush up the ice. The next question, can you use this in sixes? The answer is yes. You're going to be light on your feet, so you'll probably get run over. But you're able to get to the open spaces on the ice a lot quicker. So if you can avoid the punishment of being laid out, then this is great. So with the shot and being a sniper of close quarters, this build is great for punishing people on the turnovers. Now, sometimes things just go in, and this is a thing for it. You grind it out, you get the garbage, and you toss a weak little backhand on it, and it still goes in. Here, face-off wins are key. Now, here's an example of why we have 89 passing. You get hard, crisp passes through, and they're just easy to tap in. Gives you a good option. AD hand eye isn't a lot, but if you're in a good position, you can get the tips. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks.